Hi, my queens. Uh, my beauty squad. My amazing compadres. So, we have a awesome, awesome, awesome brand to review. Awesome, right? Awesome. Can I say awesome again? Awesome. Um good <laughs> i'm gonna like my third cup of coffee because i'm getting I'm, I'm actually filming this pretty damn early for me it's like seven o'clock in the afternoon so i know y'all yeah, all been seeing the trend the cold girl makeup look i forgot i even had this i've had this for a minute now but i have this beautiful 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 toe bag in so i'm gonna do the cold girl look that's what's up with the sweater and review this beautiful palette right here. Y'all want to know the brand? I know y'all to see the, the title and all that good stuff. I did uh, post on my TikTok. Because this is where the cold girl trend comes from. It's TikTok. Now, I don't think that the video actually loaded that I did for this lip gloss. Because I had got it back around Halloween. This one's black. Look at the sparkles. Now, Queen Cosmetics is well known for their lip glosses. If you've been on Instagram, if you've been on TikTok, if you've been anywhere on social media, you've seen this gloss. The infamous pink label Queen Glitter. Everybody goes in, puts on a matte lip, a dark matte lip, whatever kind of matte lip, and throw this bad boy out, and the shivers are just gorgeous. Now, for this to be like a viral item right now, she really does have it at an affordable oh, price. Like like now, the Epic Colors do get sold out really quick. I do have affiliated code with them, and I will put it down below. And make sure I link them down below. So, all you got to do is go back one click and go check them out. And again, it is an affiliated code. They had an affiliated program. Anybody can sign up for it. So, I just went ahead and signed up and got me a code so I can share it with y'all to save y'all some coins. Mm -hmm. But, look at this gloss. Look how pretty this gloss is. So, I am following them. I'm going to swatch just a little bit so you can kind of see. I don't really put it on. See that shiver? And I actually got a black lipstick just for this gloss. And I never did the look. So it kind of padded down. It is really pretty. I want to go in and get another shade. Of course, the black shade was the only one I grabbed. Because, like I said, I grabbed it for Halloween. But... Now that I, I do have affiliated code, I have signed up with them and all that good jazz. Um, I saw where she was coming out with a new release. And I didn't even realize that she had made palettes because the gloss is just so infamous. Like, you, you, you hear of the shimmer gloss, the glitter gloss, and you know Queen Cosmetics. And that's pretty much like where my brain goes. So I didn't even put two and two together. She does other items. Well, I went and looked. And that really kind of caught my eye, per se, to be like, oh. I gotta have this until I saw this. Oh, look at that. Now, she does have a whole collection of this. She has three uh, lip glosses to go with this. I'm sorry, I just bought the palette. But when I tell you the shivers, even the matte is so buttery. And this, the like, she goes in on her TikTok and she describes like how she came up with this concept for this palette and she wanted to make sure that it was good. You can tell this girl did her research and she worked her ass off on this collection because they're just so freaking buttery. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this. So you get all these shades down here. All these shades are kind of... So look at these shades. And I will just watch this. See that transition? Oh. And these are like two regular shivers. And then you got three mattes. Now the versatile on this palette, not really... I do wish that she had like a lighter matte. It may be a, more of a cool tall mat in here. But this palette could be paired with so many other palettes that it doesn't really matter. Like, to get these right here, and I'll put up the price of the palette. I forgot, so I'll put it up here. So, I'm going to go in with some dry fingers, dry R. I know a lot of people have been talking about swatches and how uh, creators or brands are actually putting... Vaseline all their arms. It's so crazy. Look at look at those. See that transition? Now most of these are just like uh, this is like a yellow to pink kind of thing. This is blue to green. This is uh, like they're just so freaking gorgeous. Look at that. They're so soft. 
so soft. Even Jasmine does not really like. She doesn't really care too much for like how they feel yet. You know, she's 15. She sees pretty shivers, and she's just like, oh. Well, even when I had her swatch these, she was just like, oh. Uh, it's the first one I did with my thumb. Did not give it just a so Let me go in here and show y'all what it actually looks like. <laughs> So, look at that. Now, I don't go off of swatches, but y'all, the, the way they feel is remarkable. So, here's the first mat. And even, like, the mats are really nice. Sorry, guys. Mario had called. As I was saying in my last video, I think I cut some of it off. We have a really bad crisis going on right now in my state. Um, over 40,000 people are without power because of a hate crime. We had some dumb fucks, and I say that because that's what they are, whatever, and literally shot up our terminals in two locations. So over 40,000 homes, not even the people inside the homes, just 40,000 people are without 40,000, you know, what are they called? Uh, lines are down with their power because of these stuff fucks wanted to show hate crime against gays like are you are you serious right now what year are we in this is the top row like i said like the top row ain't nothing really too exciting nothing you ain't seen nothing yet but now when you get to that bottom row it's not better these are very soft very beautiful you can do a easy day look night look you know smoked out glam look uh, easy, very traditional look. Like, this is a very versatile palette. You can even go in with one of these nice little buttery shimmers all over the lid and be done. But yeah, so we're all sitting here suffering without power. Thank God ours came back on. Ours came back on. There are people that's been sitting here since Saturday night. It is Tuesday. And we're never still not expected to get power until like Thursday. It is Tuesday night, and they still don't have power. So, yeah, we're under a state crisis. Uh, so many people lost their food, lost so much stuff, like the stores, lost so much products. Uh, two of our gun shop, shops got robbed uh, Sunday night. It is literally like 10 minutes down the road from us. So, it's, it's pretty scary around here. But best, best believe my doors are locked, and I'll give it house right now. And that's not something that I usually do because we live out in the country and it's such a secluded area. We got like two neighbors. That's it. And a whole bunch of fields. But yeah, I, I make sure the doors are locked now. So yeah, we're doing a cold girl look. It's fine from this. I do want to show you all this other collection I got. Lordy. This will be my next video. Look how pretty. So this is Laura Lee's bag. This is the first time I have tried any of Laura Lee's products other than the six pan palette that she came out with a while back that was the party animal, the very colorful neon shades. Used it a handful of times. I couldn't really tell you to be exact where it's at. I know I still have it because my best friend gave it to me for my birthday. Uh, that's the only reason I kept it. Just because the pigments, they were, the pigment was there, but it were very, uh, very patchy, very hard to blend. Did not make sense of the palette itself. You had to pair it with another palette. Like it was a first palette for her. Now her pa her brand has evolved so much, so much since that release, and I want to say that release was like 2018, 2019, something like that. Like we're going into 2023. She did take like a little semi break from her brand. Like she would release here or there, but wasn't really like focused hardcore into it for a while. And she came back full blown. She came out with a nudie patootie, nudie patootie too. And as all those palettes were gorgeous and the collections were really pretty, it just wasn't nothing that was speaking to me because they're nudes. And so I was like, you know what? I want them, but I don't think I would use them. So I'm not going to waste somebody out of them. This collection, although it is still a nudes collection, it has one color in there that is just. It took me by surprise. And I've shipped. So this is the Laura Lee bag. Look how big. Like it's it's nice and big. And I mean I've got the palette and everything in here. I did get the whole collection. I got the bag. 
And when you open up the bag, it's very nice quality, very silky-ish. Some cool nudes collection, the nudes palette, color palette. Look how, like Laura, Lister, Laura Lee is very minimalistic on her brand. It's very nudes, uh, very beautiful shades. Like, uh. now when you open this package up, look at that. It is a forest inside the palette. The palette itself is absolutely gorgeous. So these are bubbled up a little bit and then you got a nice little force. You get a nice size mirror, but can y'all tell what shade spoke to me? Yes, this one. This is Sweet Willow. Yeah, look. And I was like, okay, so this is the this is the palette that's gonna get me to try Laura Lee back again. Look at that shade. Absolutely gorgeous. I love greens. I love greens. I love blues, greens, pinks, purples. I love them all. I love not by no means uh shy away from colors. So yeah, this is a very beautiful palette, so make sure you stay tuned for that. That will probably I'll probably film that tomorrow and have it up the next day. Because I do have my Thursday collab coming as well. So, yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned. Me and Adrian are doing uh, uh, her brushes. And when I say freaking soft, they're soft. They're so freaking soft. There are five eyeshadow brushes. This is like, this is a nice little packer. Look at that. Did you have Laura Lee Los Angeles L37. This is a tapered blender. This one is 38, a large flat shader. So it's right up in there to shade up. Oh yeah, so that'd be good to pack all that product in like back and forth motion. This one is a L36. This is a large tapered blender. This is probably one of the biggest blended shade, uh, brushes I got and I love it. I know just from looking at it, I don't have a lot of or any of. This is a L40 Detail Smudger. And last but not least, this is 39, a flat shader. So this would be the way you would put that shimmer on to pat that product down. So you literally could do a whole look just for these. Then we have the face brushes, which are absolutely gorgeous. And there are six of these. So you have this one right here. Which is a stipple brush. This is L32. This would be really good to stipple all of that cream blush. Right up in there. Then you have a L11. Which is a large, a flat top kabuki. This one I like really, really good to push that foundation in. Then you have a pointed powder brush. This is L33 to really pack all that product right up under the eyes. It's setting up that powder exactly where you need it to. And you ain't gotta worry about like you get everywhere. Then you have a tapered highlighter. It's L35. Then this is one of my favorites. So look at that. And they feel so flippin' soft. Look at that. So gorgeous. Uh, this is called a angled contour brush. This is L31. And last but not least, we have a nice round kabuki. This is a round top kabuki. And this is shade, this is number L34. I like to have kabukis. And they're good to push in some of that cream products too. So I'm excited. I'm glad that I got this collection. <coughs> the brush collection with the bag retails for $55. It, it does retail for, it's a value of 101, but you get it for $55. So I do highly recommend that if you're looking for a good set of brushes, I can't tell you about the performance yet. But I will. Uh, just on quality and feeling them. And y'all, I've been through some brushes in the past couple years. And I can pretty much 
kind of get a grasp on what's good and what's not just by the feel of it. These are going to be some really good brushes. So I would jump on it before they're cold. For sure. I do recommend that collection by far. Especially if we're going to try this. Well, no. I think we need to try that first. Hold on. Okay, so I got my brows done. Even though they look fierce. I've been mean, trying to get used to this real her defined brow pencil. Because it does match my hair a little bit better. God, it's so dark when I first put it on. I guess because I got the rest of my face done. Because it looks alright once I get the rest of the face done. And I set it down with the uh, um, Too Faced Fluff and Fold. Uh, fluff and Hold. Fluff and Fold. I love this because it has a little brush on the other side of it. So that's my brows. Let's get into it. I did prime my lids with a Thrive because anytime I'm using any new products, new uh, eyeshadows or what have you, especially from a new brand, I like to go in with a really good primer and I know this primer is excellent. Stephanie, if you can find me any more of this, I am about out. About out. Um, but yeah, that's like my go-to eyeshadow primer. Especially for new brands and stuff because I know it's not the primer person. And kind of figure out what we're doing and again i want to try to leave it minimalistic as possible as i can that is a hard task at hand i promise sorry if you hear my youngest being wide open and i'm gonna try my hardest not to have to use any other kind of palette but i'm not too sure which i mean i guess i could Use it with another palette so I can give you an idea how it blends. It's cohesive with other palettes. So I'll just put this all over the outer lid. And then bring it up just a tad. Into that socket. Just like so. Now I'm going with a nice fluffy brush. With their products. But like I said, I don't have no transition shade in this palette. So I'm going to try it like this first. And then if I really need to go in with a lighter shade, tell them to stop. I will. And I'm just kind of putting that all over the lid. I'll tap it very lightly with this brush. Just kind of lay it right there in the middle. I don't want to leave it on the outskirts of its fluffy angle brush. I'm going to go in with Forbidden. That's this copper orange brown color. Look at that. And I barely touched it. Let's lay this right here on top and then just kind of buff this into that crease. That is so big with it. That is so pigmented. Look at that. When you're looking for a minimalistic palette, I guess this is not it. But in controversy, this is a very pigmented palette. And you get what you get. I swear, my kids. My kids. I want to try to use all three mats. Now with the cold girl look, like I said, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit because I'm gonna give my lid some kind of color. I just like a wig, like a tapered wig brush. A lot of people use this for brows. A lot of people use this for wigs. Whatever you want to use it for is is there. I want it with gemstone. Yes, this middle mat right there. And I'm just making a nice little wig. And draw, draw that across. The one thing I do like about this look, most of them don't use no lashes. And I know I make lashes make a look. It is nice to see some of these using their lashes. Because not everybody got tough lashes. Or know how to do it. Go! Sorry y'all, I knew that extra AF. So I think I'm gonna go in with that. I wanna try this pink first. 
Oh, this kind of brush. What is this? A Morphe M152. It's just like a nice little. Oh, you're... Oh, you're... Oh, you're... You want that wet look? Oh. Yes. And I'm bringing it up just a tad. Look at that. This white shade that literally looks like ice. Double tap that in that inner corner and then bring it out. <sighs> Have you ever? So going in with that flat brush, I mean fluffy brush, I'm going with full moon. Tap on. And I'm just going to bring this up just a tad. Just to give some kind of color to my lid. I know some of the girls were literally putting blush on their lids for that minimalistic look. And you could do that. You could do whatever your heart desires. This is just kind of, mine is not by no means exactly the same. I am not who created that look. That look is absolutely gorgeous on all these girls. But if I don't put my twist to it, I would go madly insane. I have to have my, me put into anything I put on my face. I cannot copy exact. That is not the eyeshadow. I have a book coming right there. So, do not think it's fall out? But I mean, it's not. <laughs> just, just some shade from the palette because I like that, but I think it could be blended a lot better with a, another transition. So, I think what I'm going to do is let's see what Lisa Cosmetics has in store. Ooh, we do have these nice ones. I think I could do it with Winkle Larry. No, because Winkle Larry's got all dark colors too. Let me see. I got the new Pat McGrath. Um, I want to do a review on this palette, but I might need to use it for a second. <laughs> I've got three palettes to review. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. No. Stop it, finger. I literally just dug into that purple. Damn, bro. I'm going to go ahead with this shade right here. And it, that is Desert Divinity. Just to kind of give it a cool tone brown. Yes. Okay. And with Enchanted, going back in with that gemstone, that gorgeous green. Just kind of bringing that wig out so you can see it. I want to try it with a finger. I want to try this with a finger. Let's do it. Maybe this can be messy. Look at that. And now we'll go back in with Mystical Force. And I'm just kind of tapping that on the outskirts of it. A uh, pencil brush just to kind of... <sighs> Tap right up under that brow bone. Yeah, I already know. Yes. It's giving me holiday vibes. Look at that. Lock it out. And then that inner corner, of course. I'm kind of like shivery bottom. So I'm going to prime real quick. This oil has saved my face. Like, seriously, guys. I've got a lot of shimmer on my head. I guess it don't really matter. I got a lot of shimmer on my head, my face anyways. Even without trying to. It'll be a lot more afterwards too. I hate my smile wrinkles right there. 
probably try to roll out. <laughs> This is such a big addition. So any dryness to my face, this oil helps it a lot. I did go ahead and exfoliate, of course. But I always try to get off any access. Because I like to layer, but the key to layering is to make sure you have it nicely pressed into that skin. Because you don't want. It. So what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna go off and do my other eye real quick, and then come back and show y'all the shimmer that I'm gonna use, and then the primer. I mean the foundation and all that good stuff, and then the blush technique that I'm gonna try. I'll see you in a second. And, um, I did go ahead and do my other eye off and I just primed with the glare blow. What did I do with the glare blow? Oh, I'll put it over here. This right here. This is a really good primer. It's gray, but don't let that gray intimidate you. It does come with a little spatula. You just scoop it out, put it on, and lay it down. I do think that it helps with my skin, my, my routine. Sorry if y'all hear Luna. Uh, she's throwing a foot with her brother. Um, to let each product sit. But I need products that I use under my foundations. I highly recommend the JLo Glow. The Star Filter is a complexion booster. I absolutely love this. It is really good for your skin. But I do also have the Halo Glow Liquid Filter that is available at any drugstore, online, Ulta, anywhere. It's really good too. It has a natural little illuminating finish to it. Big old Duffa. I've tried this, and I think the video is a, a, it might it might not have made it, but I'm gonna show y'all this because this is just my favorite. Now there's like three shades you could get. This has like a little pink shimmer to it. Like you could use this as a highlighter. You could use this as a moisturizer after your moisturizer, just to give you that natural looking, youthful glow. So I'm gonna put this on. On top of my other primers. Because with that cold girl look. Everywhere I look. They had a. Uh, put some kind of like glow. Product underneath. And this is my go to glow. The JLo glow you know. But. Now the JLo glow is really expensive. I did hear. I did see where she said. That she was going to be coming to Amazon soon. So that's going to be cool because then, uh, you know, I can order individual ones because for the whole set, it's like 200 bucks. So it's really expensive for the whole J-Lo moisturizer kit. I do think it was worth it though. I do want to go back and get more. I'm literally almost out of my moisturizer cream. Like, I'm scraping. But you see how big these containers are? You get an eye cream, a moisturizer, a sunblock. Uh, face mask, like one face mask, and then the Jello Glow booster. So I do think that it was worth it. <sighs> now, if you don't have trouble skin like me, you know, like hella dry or what have you, you might not need all that. So I will go over top of that just because it's like that natural. This that is made basically if you want to go in and do a no makeup makeup day kind of thing. And I'm just gonna layer this. In just certain areas where I want that extra little my bag. Now I'm gonna use my go-to foundation right now. Don't watch my channel a lot, you might not know. My daughter is a scheme artist. That's all it is. That's, that's, that's it. She is two years old, and this young and literally goes in. It takes my stuff. It puts it back. I've never seen a two-year-old go in and play with makeup and put it back. Have you? No. My damn nine-year-old don't even do that. A she leaves it out. Yes, I do. Now, I'm going to go in with this and my minimalistic stick because you want a minimalistic look. So why not minimalistic? Uh, let me get my foundation brush. And then I'll set it all down with... 
up by sponge. I'm gonna spray my face because I found if I spray in between sections instead of waiting to the end of spray, I don't have as much separation. This is a really expensive foundation, but it is a really good one. A good alternative for this one is the Morat foundation stick. I like to combine them just because of shade range. I guess they're really good. They're really good together. This is the Western Altenier. And then I go in with a minimalistic stick for a Morat to just kind of touch in the other areas. And then I want to push, 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 push all that product in. And I'll be right back. Now that we look hella pale. I'm gonna look at my power. Black. Uh, let's go in and contour. I'm not gonna bronze. That's a central drop bronze. We need to do a cold girl look. And then we're gonna do the the foot part, the blush. So I'm going in with she glam. Y'all know I uh, do a go into it video explaining the difference in contour and bronzer. Basically, contour you want to shade out places you don't want to be seen like there um, around your nose but it's basically everywhere where the sun went and hit it will shadow out all your face whenever the sun is like leaving all you and that bronzer is from wherever the sun would hit so this is just to give that shadow effect it's not too warm up my face by no means. Where you're in a mountains or you're in Aspen or wherever you're at vacationing and skiing and doing all that extra stuff you do for summer. You don't really see the sun as much. You see more snow, rain, all that good mess. All that mess that I don't really care for. <laughs> I'm not a snow person. I'm not a cold person. I am a very cold nature person. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not a hot, per hot person either. I'm one of those people that bitch and complain about both. <laughs> Just to be honest here. I will complain my ass off when it's too hot. And I will complain my ass off when it's too cold. And that's just me. Uh, yep. I'm in it. <laughs> I'm not afraid to say it. So this is the look so, so far. I'm gonna spray it with a more good time. Just because I've took my time, I'll put in a powder down. And I'm gonna keep it hydrated so it don't start creasing and getting it all those little bits of gritties. All right, so I got my blush brush. And I think I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty. This is such a beautiful blush. And probably also my Belt Makeup blush. Yeah, this is gonna be right up in here. And then on the tips, I'm gonna have a little bit darker. Yeah. Look how pretty. Rare Beauty I like because it's not too, um, like it's more of a dryer formula. I feel like this one you can really put on, uh, and then of course the tip of the nose, tip of the chin, and the forehead, just a tap. That one I think you could put on, um, no I don't need that today. Alright, this is my blush, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to use this one up. And then it's gonna dot right here. <laughs> Just to keep it even cohesive. Alright, where is my other one? The other one, where you at? Do I need to touch my shit? Oh, no, here it is. <laughs> Alright, I need my cream highlighter. So just tap it in right here. To the apples of my cheeks. Bring it over. So, bridge my nose. Tap, 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 tap. 
Tap, 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 tap. So I piss it off, Felicity. Yeah. And it's all about pushing my shit instead of swiping. You want to make sure everything is pushed into the skin, not swiped around it. <laughs> Yay! There's that. Let's, let's, let's get my highlighter on, my, my cream highlighter, and then we can powder and do all that good stuff. Tip it is the bridge. Maybe a little Sophie. This is a work in progress. It always looks crazy before you get finished. That's why you hear, if you watch Beauty Gurus, they tell you, trust the process. That's why. No, I'm talking about the brush. Oh, the little wad? Yeah, your nose. Leave my nose alone, okay? Okay, promise nothing. Okay, Washi, 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 washi. My daughter is legit trying her hardest not to laugh. Well, let me rephrase that. She's trying not to be heard. Cause she's laughing. <laughs> she is laughing. She's just trying to hard not to be heard. All right, so let's powder. I'm actually going to use my Laura Lee powder brush. No, I'm not, cause I want that as the oddest one. Let me not. <laughs> let me not. We'll use this as my powder brush because it's tapered and that's what I want for my lower leaf. I'm gonna go ahead with my hourglass because this is such a good fine build uh, powder. Oh, 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 oh. I need to mash my stuff down. Hold on. Let me push all this. Oh, big God. Shut up. Hey, y'all. What's he doing swearing at me? I didn't hide Don't you know what I'm doing? Don't I'll push it all this in. Make sure everything's laid down together. Everything's milled together. Everything's working together. We got nobody mad at each other. We want to quit their job. You want to you wanna make sure that all your products are behaving. So you don't have to fire anybody. Just saying. Now, what in with this? <clears throat> Tapping it out. And set it under the eyes. Tap it out. Go ahead and brush it a little bit. Yeah, stop. And again, just pushing all that in to make sure it's nicely builded together. I do want to kind of carve out my contour. So I'm going with a little bit heavier powder. I literally just about used all that powder, which I want a lot in there. I have this sitting really nicely in my drawer. So it don't just like pour out, which it has a nice little cap. It literally has like a seal around it. So you don't have to worry about it. You know, it being one of those um, containers that you open and you just get like a shitload come out. Yeah, it's not one of those. Okay, so that's nicely. It's set. I am. I don't want to set my face. But I do. I fight my demons so hard because uh, Rose said if you don't want separation, don't set it. But we're gonna lightly set it. No, what we're gonna do, we're gonna set my sponge. And pat it on your face. Yep, and push it in. Barely touching the face. Just to kind of give it a little more Friendly reminder to stay to help it. Right. Let me separate it. No separation. No separation. 
We're doing pretty good with our makeup today. I think like our biggest goal is not to have any separation on my nose. And then I want to go in with I want you to push it in. A Jaclyn Hill bronzer just to kind of Oh hey, yay, you got tap those contour areas. Like I said, just lightly bronzing right there while I contour just to bring in some of that dimension. I watched so many different little videos on the cold girl look. It's just like, okay, which one is it? But I guess at the end of the day, is you take the the idea of it and make it your own. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to copy it. Yeah, I, I'm not. I've never been somebody that copies. Okay. All right. So I want to go in with Sephora wishing you, and also uh, Norbert. So I'm going with this one right here. Really beautiful. It's like a highlighter blush. Look how pretty. I'm going to lay that first. Right up in there. And then bring it over. And you want that glowy. Icy looking skin. Is the goal for this. So to have kind of a pinky. Look at it. Blush highlighter is always key. And I'm gonna use another highlighter too. The Sephora wish of you. And this is like my all time favorite blush. Look at that. Look at that. Like, look, you can't have too much blush, but I do not want to get too carried away. Okay, Sissy, I'm going to my Jaclyn Hill Extra, because Extra is who I am. <sighs> extra, Extra, I swear to say, I'm I love Jaclyn Hill's highlighters. I don't care if you don't like that girl, I'm telling you, her highlighters are it. So let's just push all this in together. I'm going to use my blade brush to marinate all this one more time. Look how pretty. I also have the red and silver. So let's finish under this eye real quick so we can get this damn thing done. So good. Alright, so I'm going in with like a flatter packer brush and then we'll do that green look, green eye, the gemstone right there. And just push that down like so. So he's literally trying to like wait and see my final look. But the baby's just not letting her. I know, and I'm just kind of bigging that out with the top lash. Yay! I want to take very little. And bring it onto there. Yes. There we go. Just because it's not as, like, as dense as the eyebrow brush and it's giving like the smokyish effect it's yeah it's, it's chef kiss it's chef kiss okay do chef kiss we're down to the final touches guys i do know that they did go in and do like a little white brow 
uh, white brow, uh, white lighter to make your eyes pop. Breaking it down just a tad, give me that eye widened effect. And then I want to use this brush right here. And what I want to do is go in with that full moon and pinch my brushes, my bristles together. Kind of just marinate that brow with that green. Okay, white lighter. White lighter, check. Now I did go in and curl my lashes while I go, but I'm going to do it one more time. You just can't never curl your lashes enough. Oh, so, uh, lip liner with this look either. I can't even remember if I put highlighter on my cupid's bow. Do you remember? Did I film that? Right here? Alright. So, one more coat of this one. This is the Baja Club by Wonder Beauty. A really good mascara. Let's go over here. Do the same thing. Yeah, my baby girl turns 10 years old in less than what? Five days. Five days. Her and her twin brother, birthdays are December 12, 2012. How cool is that? They have twins too. 12, 12, 12, and a boy and a girl. Yes, Jasmine? Um, We're coming here. You don't want to be tucked away in your cave. Mascara, and I will go in with one more coat because you just can't have enough mascara. With Bobby Brown. Alright, and yeah. That was cute. She cute. Um, so like out of my comfort zone with this eye look. So out of my comfort zone. I've never did a neutral eye it's like this. Ever. So going in is a what you do. Make a mess. That's what I do best. Yeah, I need this one. Damn it to hell. Huh? That's the damn it to hell. Come on, what did you make up? I put two words for what? No, I mean, it came off. There's N2. I never heard of that one, but okay. Alright, so if y'all need you to find my lid. <laughs> It's gray. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, somebody got into your makeup. Yeah, so, uh, Felicity. It was me, Mom. I'm so tall, man. You ready to see Sophie? I know. I always say you when I meet her. I never get in trouble. Shit. Don't let this girl lie to y'all. No, I'm telling messing with her makeup. Because you never get caught. So I'm gonna do it. Uh huh. Yeah, I saw you messing with her. I call BS because I woke up plenty of times that she's been in my area. Because I'm looking at her mirror. Just say it. Sophie, she says she don't mess with my makeup. So this is the complete look. Other day, the lip, let's do the lip, let's do the lip. Um, basically what they do is put a nude body color and pat it out and then throw a super cute gloss on top i'm gonna go over rare beauty i'm just gonna go over this berry shade right in the center cool girl look i like it 
I've never went this light with my eyes ever. So you gotta go have a concert. Uh, got an email saying that we ain't going to school Wednesday and Thursday. And then they will let us know about Friday 4 p.m. Thursday. Uh, Carson probably got power on. That's good. Uh, Kia called. Alright, so yeah. My hair is all crazy, but I don't care because I'm putting on a toboggan. Where the heck did you get that at? I've had it. I just ain't never used it because it's a toboggan. I didn't need it to winter. I get my winter stuff in the summer so that, uh, I'm not paying crazy prices. Sophie. Yeah, yeah. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> so this is my cold girl look. What do y'all think? Y'all like it? Don't like it? Hate it? Love it? Does it look like a cold girl look? Or does it not? All my layers are literally showing right now. Of my hair, I've got like 20 different layers in it. Hey, mommy. You're welcome. Yeah. Bear ears. I want those. Oh, yeah. She had a bit back that has little ears. It was a panda. Yeah. So, this is the complete look with the little stacks of the cold girl. Because you can't be a cold girl without a scarf or a hat. And I left my scarf in the truck. Because of dad? Nope. Because my hubby was barring it because it's Jack the Skeletor. But in the world, I cut my hair. Thank you. How do I get the ice line nails on? I'm the best. <sighs> Baby, it's cold outside. Let me stop myself before I get crazy. But you're already on. I love y'all, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what y'all think about the uh, naturalistic eye look without blue or green or yellow or anything crazy on my face. Because, again, this is the first for me. So make sure you're honest. I always value y'all's opinion. Cause like I see it is y'all have to look at me so I want y'all to enjoy the content. I'm just touching up my cupid's bow, my nose, and a bridge. I mean it's cold outside. All right. Let me know what y'all think. And until the next one. Bye. Huh.